I can hear it. Seriously? me.
Oh, uh, what is it, Yagami-san? Sensei, do you have a minute? I saw the video of Mikoshiba-kun. So you did. That video, right? I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Mikoshiba-kun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ehara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means, as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A uh, deception? Are you familiar with Ahara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ahara-san groped? So you do know her, then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know if she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you, then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with the Harasan, as in she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun, and as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusamoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara? Every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me, how are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer, even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock, and until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you, I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. 
Suit yourself. Hey, sorry, son. It's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes. And to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza, so he never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girl's bar... manager who went missing yeah it looks like he did work at a girl's bar but we don't know which one okay so the guy's definitely suspicious what business would RK have with him do you know if they ever found him no but their leader Soma said something about Kawhi having already been killed like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago and that was it wait he was killed uh-huh Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshima, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. 
Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. How was it, Sari-san? What did Yagami-san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawai, could it have something to do with our case as well? I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawai. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. You don't mean you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawai. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still. I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? Oh, is that Sari-chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Tok's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. Ah, <sighs> fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with R.K.? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh please, you two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. 
even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your... Look, some nice clothes and a little makeup and you'd be unstoppable. Finally, my turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri chan you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Well, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay. Then leave the rest to me. Well, would you look at that. Talk was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. You sure about that, Marisan? 
I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're dynamite. Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then, how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of the girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senryo Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? We're already out for a drink. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah! There's a place my body runs. You'll be thrilled to see some ladies like you. You wouldn't happen to know any of them, would you? You seem like you'd be popular enough. R.K. Of course we know them. Why? The lady's about that... Well, I've heard R.K. boys know how to show a lady a good time. Things like, they party like there's no tomorrow and... But sorry, chan Why limit yourself to R.K.? <laughs> I'm starting to think we were meant for each other. Oh? What makes you say that? Wait! Don't tell- Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. Shoot. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. R.K. has Kamurocho pretty much wrapped around its face. Just about. The time of the, all that respect and chivalry shit. 
Now the underground world is a jungle. Wow, must be hard. That reminds me. Weren't you off a man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh, yeah. Him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girl's bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. Oh, <laughs> well. Five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Kamlo Chow. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kai. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa, what do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? No, no. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. But who knows, right? It was five years ago. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh, shit! You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Let go of her! Who sent you? I'm Saori Shurosaki, attorney at law. Unhand me this instant. Ooh, you're gonna sue? Think I give a crap about what your job is? I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? What the? Ah! Beat it, punk. The guy she saw. Asshole! These jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um... No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own. Especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait. How did you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki. From Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! <laughs> I didn't realize. Shirosaki Sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. If you 
you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki-sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu. Here you have Kawaii and Miku, and they both end up- That could be for a number of reasons. Usually the trouble- Could be. Okay, with RK asking around. Alright, thanks. I'm Asawa. Um... Yeah. Thank you very much. Yoroshiku.
Hey. Um. What was that? Well. So. What was that? Does that mean... Yeah. I see. Excuse me. What? Are you serious? I see.
That being said... Hmm... Gotcha. Yagami-san, would you say that you tail people often? I mean, it's a big part of the job. Do you have any tips for avoiding the target's suspicion? I tend to get made fairly quickly when tailing. What's an average high schooler tailing people for anyway? I just can't help myself when I pick up a lead. Kind of dangerous when you don't know your target, don't you think? But in the end, isn't it worth it if I can prevent an incident? No, not if it's something that puts your own life at risk. I somehow hadn't considered that. That way?
Anyway, I had no idea you had such a famous grandfather. Are you surprised? No. If anything, it's obvious that you're his granddaughter. Well, now I'm feeling the pressure. As a descendant of Kitan Amasawa, you should become the kind of detective that make him proud. For that to be possible, I need to take on as many cases as possible to hone my instincts. But what if you blundered into a case and ended up making a fool of yourself? Would that make Grandpa proud? Uh, the more I hold back, though, the more curious I get. Once I've caught a whiff of a mystery, the Amasawa blood in me starts pumping. It's quite a burden you wound up inheriting. Stay down. It's a pleasure. Domo. すみませんでした。Sawa. Uh, huh. No way. What?
That being said... Yeah. Excuse me. Sour. Yes. No. Seriously? Well... What was that? Sour. Yes. Unbelievable.
Thank you very much. Excuse me. Facing the wrong way. Signal's weak. picking it up.
Excuse me. Oh. It's a pleasure. <sighs> yeah. Eh? Hmm. Yagami-san. Yeah. Hmm? Yagami-san! Are you serious? If I were to guess... Yeah. Hey. Ah. Which means... Yeah. Gotcha. Yes. What?
I'm not gonna hold back. My turn then. Ah, oh, you got me. Uh. I'm a sour. Yes. 
I see. Speaking of burdens, have you been studying for your exams? That is something I try not to think about too much. Obsessing over rote memorization would affect my reasoning skills. Well, I reason that you shouldn't let your club activities get in the way of your studies. I admit... That's also something I try not to think about. That doesn't sound like the Amasawa I know. Gotta face the facts sometime. No, stop it! Oh, brother. Oh, we're off it?
らっしゃいませありがとうございます。Stay down. Here we go. All right. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yep. 
Hey. Being said, oh. <laughs> What? Yes. Excuse me. Yes. I see. Hey.
Hey. If I were to guess... Yeah. Yes. Yagami-san. What the...? Ah. What? Suspicious. Hmm? to guess. Yes. I see. Um. In other words. Yes. No way. Hey.
can't be. That being said... If I have this right. Masawa. If I were to guess... I see. Which means...
If I were to guess... Yeah. I'm a sour. <sighs> Excuse me. Geogamy. Ah. 
I see. Hmm. Hi. Suspicious. What the? Hey. In other words,
Hi. <laughs> Excuse me.
Iya. Iya.
Pardon me. Did you have business with some- Yeah. The faculty meeting's over, right? It just wrapped up. But Sawa-sensei went home in the middle of it. What? Apparently she got a call from her apartment manager, saying her place was broken into. Broken into? She told me to tell you that if you came around. Okay, then. Do you think you could give me her contact info or something? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I'll just give her a quick call. What? No, she's not answering. It's probably busy. But I guess she's home then? I'd say so. Her place is within walking distance. It is? Sawa-sensei lives in Ijincho? Uh, yes, but I really shouldn't be giving that kind of info out. Sure, I appreciate the need for privacy. You've been a big help. What's the matter, Yagami-san? Is there still something you need? Well, do you think you could tell me Sawa-sensei's address? Come again? Not too long ago, she got a call that her apartment was broken into. And another teacher tried to call her, but she wouldn't answer. So, what? Are you going to go check on her yourself? At her place? She's within walking distance, isn't she? I believe so, but this is a young woman, living by herself. I shouldn't be giving you her address without her permission. We're detectives. Give us a bit of time, I'm sure we can find out ourselves. But on the other hand, that wouldn't be best for either party now, would it? Then can't you just ask her yourself tomorrow? Chairman, you're aware of the Hiro Mikoshiba murder footage, right? Yes, of course I am. 
But from what I've heard from police sources, it's very likely that video was faked. Well, I have it on good authority it wasn't faked at all. So for the sake of argument, let's say the video's real. And that Ahara is the one behind having posted it deliberately. He's got the criminal affairs department saying it's probably faked. So the police are playing right into his hand. And let's say his motive in all this is to avenge his son's suicide. The justice for his bullying that he never got. Now wait just a moment. We proved in court that no bullying had taken place here. Sad as it was, the trial concluded that bullying wasn't what drove poor Eharakun to suicide. Actually, before Toshiro-kun killed himself, Sawa-sensei reported a bullying incident to his homeroom teacher. What? But at the trial, she wasn't able to testify to that. She had no choice but to deny the whole thing. From Ahara's perspective, that was unforgivable. And after all that, Mikoshiba was murdered, and now Sawa-sensei isn't picking up her phone following a break-in at her place. What are you implying here? It's like you're saying she's going to be next. I just want to check up on her. If it turns out the break-in isn't linked, I'll turn right around. And I'll make sure nobody knows the chairman gave me her address. Well... Fine. I understand.
<laughs> that was quick. I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. The bullying that pushed Toshiro Ehara over the edge echoes a previous tragedy. Years before, another boy attempted suicide and remains comatose. Yagami makes his way to Sawa Sensei's apartment, hoping to get some answers that will shed some light on the incident. But, as if by coincidence, he encounters Kuwana instead. What ties could an earnest school teacher and an underground handyman share? Kawana? What the hell are you doing here? You forget to mention you had a connection to Sawa Sensei? Or what? Awkward. Do you or not? And don't pretend you're just here to fix a toilet. Huh. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Now it's RK on top of you. Yagami, we've got more incoming. What is this? These idiots aren't after you. It's me they really want. And I just walked into their trap. What could they possibly want with you? To come all the way from Kamurocho? Akutsu, what is this about? Why do you want her? Looks like they don't feel like talking about it. Get these two fuckers first. <sighs> but try to leave them breathing if you can.
Sawa Sensei. Yes. Don't open your door until the cops get here, okay? I have to go make sure Kawana's all right. But what about you, I'm fine. But actually, how do you and Kawana know each other? Sawa Sensei? Fine. Just please stay in your room, okay? trying to get in our way, are you? Yeah, I am. But I'm in a hurry myself, so I'm not gonna hold back, all right? Yeah? Big words for a little shit. You're nothing without your friend Kaito. Trying to screw with RK again? Then you better be ready to get your ass beat. Aren't you the one screwing with me? Besides, I'm not behind any of this. Alright, enough of your bullshit. You better say a quick prayer, asshole.
Kwana! Hey, been waiting for you. You a slow runner or something? Uh, they got here before I did. Yagami, sticking your nose in the business again. How about I stick you in an oil barrel and see if you float? That's a halfway decent threat this close to the sea. Ooh, the great detective sounds intimidated. If we make it out of this, I've got some questions that need answering. Sawa sensei won't talk. I wouldn't worry about the future. <laughs> Your life is coming to an end soon. Yagami! Stay down, would you? <sighs> Not happening. Good luck, Yagami Kun.
Kiwana! Oh, fine. At least you could have done to say thank you. We ain't done, Yagami! I get you want to play tough, but... Do you ever quit? It's not over till it's over, you little shit. The hell's that? Sawa Sensei! Stop it! Someone's here too? I wouldn't have expected you and this bitch to be connected. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. You're the detective, aren't you? You figure it out. Huh? Time's up. Toss his phone before we go any further. His GPS will lead his friends straight to us. Hey, 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 hey. Yagami. Yagami. Rise and shine. shine. There he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake up. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. Soma? Oh good, no brain damage. Man, I'm glad you're tough as nails. Now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine, it's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. Huh? <laughs> Did that hurt? <sighs> it hurt, right? See? You all see? First comes pain, and then the fear. You have to start with pain. Fear won't work if you haven't given them a reason. Slap them around, but you do need to keep them conscious. Enough to keep the fear alive. That's how you get what you want to hear. Am I right? I can tell when someone's lying. My superiors found that useful. Probably why they kept me around. Now, no playing dumb and none of your tricks. Don't underestimate me. Yagami-san. So, what's the deal between you and that lady teacher? We're colleagues, as of a few days ago. The fuck are you talking about? Stay out of this, Akutsu. Huh? I'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me. I'm focusing. Besides, Yagami-san here is telling us the truth. <sighs> He's just being a little vague, is all. So what do you mean, Sawa-sensei is your colleague? I was asked to look into a bullying case at Serio High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she's sound asleep now, I'm sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You want Kiwana? Right. About that. You keep calling him Kiwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Kiwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me, what is he? What do you know him for? <sighs> you get two seconds to answer. What does this Kiwana guy do? 
He's a handyman. In Ijincho. Everybody knows him. He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? It means you have no more use for me. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? Now I got a question for you. Did you really think you'd walk out of here alive? Or is it gonna be in a body bag? The fear in your eyes tells me everything I need to know. And you're probably right. <laughs> you aren't gonna enjoy what little time you have left. It's gonna be painful as hell. Because I'll be the one enjoying it. What brings you to a gene show and after a teacher? And why Kawana too? How do you even know him? I could tell you this little part and give, couldn't I? Except I ain't feeling so generous. <laughs> You didn't think we were done yet, did you? <laughs> hey! Fire that thing up. Get him on his feet. And I don't want to see him squirming. Not every day you get a chance like this. Record this shit. Yo. How quickly can a chainsaw kill a guy should be the video title when we upload it. This kind of shit gets so many views. Am I right, Yagami? We'll go in slow and get your fingers all cut to shreds. <laughs> we'll take that up to the right wrist, then we'll switch over to the left side. Right forearm, left forearm. Why don't we make this formal? Take first dibs. You show us how it's done. You, you want me to do it? Time to man up. We gotta show the world what happens when you fuck with our K. Killing shits like him is what puts hair on your chest, guys. Just try not to kill him until everyone gets a turn. Get to work! But, but sir... Figure it out. Akutsu. He won't do it himself, you know. Huh? Recording it puts the evidence of a murder out there on video. And he won't be on it. But you guys will be. Who do you think they'll come for, moron? You still talking? Fill your intestines on the fucking floor! Company. Kaito, how the hell? How'd you fucking find us here? Uh, uh, Kaito.
Sekiro. Suppose I ought to thank you boys for keeping Tak nice and comfortable, Akutsu. Yeah, but we were just getting to the grand finale. You two can have front row seats. I'll pass. This show kind of sucks. Block all the doors! These three are fucking dead. You hear me, boys? I don't want anyone leaving the building! Good call. I don't want anyone leaving either. Not till I'm done with you. Don't be a tough guy, Talk. Feel free to take a breather if you need to. I don't know about that, Kaito-san. He's got that look. That's the face he makes when he's got a score to settle and some ass to kick. You still haven't gotten your fill of this, Yagami? <laughs> I'll admit, this is kind of fun, man. Maybe killing you would be a mistake. I've got an even better idea. I'll tie you up and keep you as a pet. You know what? I think I could punch you as many times as I want right now. But in circumstances such as they are, no one could even blame me. Huh? I'm saying I've earned a little payback, Akutsu. Let's go!
What the hell does RK want with Kuan? What did he do? Tell me how Sawa Sensei and Kuan are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll get you! Man, that guy's invincible. And he's faster than he looks. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Nah. He's definitely got some skills. And we better start taking him seriously. I had no idea you went through so much. I'm just glad you had the mind to tip off Kaito-san that I wasn't picking up your calls. That got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town's security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. I had to try something. I'm the one who dragged you into this after all. But you know, the first person to suspect something was Higashi-san. He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. <laughs> Better thank him, too. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girls' bar witnessed this, and based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawai was murdered. Got it. Then I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. They fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Right. I never imagined things would get this dangerous. We just got back to Sawa Sensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamrocho looking for Kawai. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fixit. It's popular on the Jincho Underground. Even Kawana was a fake name. And this mystery man had some connection to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. 
We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns. So take care of yourself, okay? I'll be all right. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Yo, what's Sawa Sensei's room number? Just hold your horses. I'm coming with you. Sure is quiet. This is where the fight went down? Yeah. But to look at it, you wouldn't think anything had happened here. <clears throat> Sawa Sensei? You there? Geogamy. What's up? The door. It's unlocked. Huh? Sawa Sensei? No! Wait, talk! The school teacher, Yokosawa, is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets, and to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Yeah. That's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside, then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. He lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, Talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. 
We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads is that Soma's gang was after Kowanda, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kuwana. Yeah. Except Kuwana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kita Kanta. Soma gave us that. Hey, suspicious. What the? Smartphone. Could this be Sawa Sensei's? Probably. Maybe some RK thugs barged in, took her phone, and threw it in here. What do you want to do? Check her mail? Call log? Yeah, I do. What the? No good. It's got a pin. And we don't have time to crack it now. Cops will be here soon. So, we just gonna... Yeah, unfortunately. But let's look around some more. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Yagami-san, isn't that yearbook from when Sawa-sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Kind of frowned on the mess of the murder scene. If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be- There's not enough time to check the whole thing. Tampering with a murder scene is a bad idea. I know, but... If you pass on this now, don't you want to know what's in there? I mean... We got a few minutes, right? I can see what I find before the cops get here. Well, yeah, 
Only a little time's up. Black and white just rolled up. Right. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You're gonna take it? Really? Of course not. But fuck legal this Those time. shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. Uh, I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, fine, I'll do it. Suspicious. There's one visible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. Think she was stabbed? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to it. So, Hotshot, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa-sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa-sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. But does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck, with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Nabe-san. The police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, ma'am, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? 
I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. Just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul-mouthed as fuck. But not bad, Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. And they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. Bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. The hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa-sensei... Well... She got mixed up in some sort of... incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but... Please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sawa Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir.
Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the- No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But- Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes. You're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes. I can do that. Enter. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Sawa-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Sawa-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yagami-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa-sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa-sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses. And he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. And it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. <sighs> but I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yagami-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? 
She had a whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Yagami-san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba sensei's body. Now Sawa sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. Sucks. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Mikoshiba Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you... Please keep us in the loop, too. Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective. And I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Nikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. 
Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! So, about Akane, she was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now, she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, Koda. For everything we did to you. I can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
Welcome back, Tak. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Oh, I still can't. My head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa Sensei. Right, Tak? I gave the yearbook I took from her room yesterday the Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami san? We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akutsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa-sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana-san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Nijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsho. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists and address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. This sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Ha! <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. 
Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. What is it? Is this Kiwana's place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been R.K. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind them. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawana's been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. Hmm. An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. I think so. Suspicious. What the? I mean, yeah. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. And? You think a dusty ashtray is gonna get us Kuwana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. An unfinished cup of sake. Why did he leave so much in there? Probably wouldn't have splattered everywhere during the ransacking if he just fit. Ah, the floor is still really. Then it hasn't been long since that sake. Yeah. If they were the ones here before us, then we must have barely missed them. Suspicious. They made one hell. Looks like they just wanted to trip. Yep, pretty much nothing more than a bunch of. Computer power cable? There's a mouse here, too. There was a laptop here. RK must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. <sighs> then RK's got anything of value out of this place already. 
Come on, don't be emo. Uh-huh. Suspicious. Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanis? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Oh, that's right. He smokes e-cigarettes. An ashtray that's hardly been used. Regular cigarettes that aren't being smoked. That bug you or something? Plenty of folks smoke normal cigarettes and vape, too. True. But a detective can't find answers without going over every last detail first. What now? A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? It got dark. Huh? What's the matter, Tuck? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kiwana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akutsu, though. They sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I can stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh-huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it. And we're not holding back either.
Where are Soma and Akutsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them. I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. <sighs> Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Ijinshu, outside their turf, to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. Must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK's just following orders. Sawa sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kiwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kiwana-san's? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Those guys. Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kiwana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Anytime we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We pay him with our daily special. Oh, I haven't heard from Kiwana since last night. Do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kiwana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there, too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering me. Oh, don't mention it. Let's hit it. Let's roll, Tom.
Siren. This is it, Tuck. This is the bark who on his relative runs. Hello? Anybody here? This place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with Arke about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. Let's roll, talk. Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Hi. You've reached Siren? Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. Son of a... Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? <sighs> I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy.
Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 you're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this'll have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive Correct. and see you soon. It better. Apologies for the... Kawana is pursued by R.K., the crime ring running Kamurocho. 
Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman, but the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about- Go we'll get that sorted. No, I won't be at Survive. If you don't make it in ten minutes... Yagami-san. Glad you could make it. You're the owner of Siren? Yeah. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. So, I hear you're a Kamurocho detective. Yeah, and you're a distant relative of Kiwanis. Can I ask your name? No need. This will be the only time we meet. But to Kuwana-kun, I guess you'd call me his uncle-in-law. <laughs> Everyone's got a dumbass uncle in the family. And that's me. After all, I'm ex-Yakuza. Based in Yokohama? Yeah, the Seriyu clan. After I got out, I looked after the shop for 20 years, till today. You mean Siren, right? What'll happen to it once you've skipped town? <laughs> None of your concern. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So you two are related. I noticed you didn't mention Kiwana being an alias. Huh. Oh. Done your homework, I see. I notice you and Kiwana don't use your real names. You can't tell me that's not shady. I never said we were upstanding citizens. But hey, I don't see you claiming to be one either. <laughs> Decent folks tend to avoid chatting up guys who say they're ex-Yakuza right out of the gate. Maybe. 
But as a comrade to a local, that stuff doesn't faze me. I heard a bit about you from Kuanakun. Former lawyer, right? Got a client off the hook, only to watch him kill again. After that, you gave up the badge. That case has long been solved. Besides, I didn't come here to discuss my life story. So if you don't mind, can we get back to the real topic? By all means, let's. What was he like when he was young? Uh, he was just your average kid. Not like I saw him often. We never really paid attention to each other back then. But come on. A childhood memory's really gonna help you. Well, I figured I'd start with some softballs and build from there. I mean, it's fine conversation. But I don't have all day. Yeah, okay. Point taken. His real name's Kitakata. At least, that's what the Kamurocho thugs called him. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see... Kuanakun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. Such as? A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Don't you mean a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the bush here. See, I figured you'd grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content private. So, if you could just hand that over. Now I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No. I'd still need to confirm you told the truth. Can't you tell Kuanakun's backed into a corner here? Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, I gotta say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kuana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. If that's the case, unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to this. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kuana. Her name was Yokosawa, a young woman dedicated to her career. <sighs> I'd met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running into Kuana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamrocho just to get a Kuana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa Sensei? Again, that's a negative. And this flash drive's my only concrete lead? <sighs> if it's so important to Kuana, he should have come himself, rather than send a middleman. <sighs> Don't be so hard on him. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kuana's ex-Yakuza too? Nah. He was just your average civvy before all this. But, circumstances as they were, he had no choice but to go underground. That's when he came to a gene show, and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. <laughs> but he took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking him up. He had good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. 
Good reasons. Care to give me one or two? <sighs> You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. That takes care of everything I have to say. Not sure it's such a good idea for me to just let you leave. Thinking about stopping me? Wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in Ejinsha, huh? Yep. And I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. Tough to hear.
Hey. Uh, huh. <sighs> hmm? Hold on. If I have this right. What? Yeah. Yagami. Oh, great. It's Claw Guy. You were with the Luma, right? They see you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You want to trust an outsider. Posse? Wait, don't tell me you think I'm RK. They're not even close to me. Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong. Let's play it by you.
Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong. Hmm. <laughs> 
Come on, man. Who paid you to jump me this time? These Kamrucho douchebags show up, strutting around like they own our city. Then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break-in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? Right? Look, I can see why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. 
Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much, I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene of that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is RK's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit, you serious? Then why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after a local handyman, Kawana. You know him? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad. I'm looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. So the more you get in our way, the slower this'll go. Mm. Gotcha. You understand then? How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Uh... So long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Really? Just like that? Sure. But I get to be Aniki, of course. You really think this is selling it? What you're missing here is, the Leomong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Leomong's taking their head. Same rule for all the ladies here in Ijincho. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? Ah, oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. Anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her peace. By torturing you to death. I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? Look, I promise I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. So... Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy, too. Yeah, while we were chasing Kawana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Almost got me, too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? That's true. And right after, I got a call from Kawana's purported relative, who wanted me to hand over the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kawana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Let's make it full screen. Punishment! Punishment! Let's hear the punishment song, everybody! Punishment! 
These little shits are the worst. One of them said something about Mitsuru Kusumoto stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa-sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. And it was on Kuwana-san's secret flash drive? Why would he have this? I don't know. But his uncle said it's our lead to Kuwana's real identity and motivation. Huh. Uh, just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key players' faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Suspicious. If I'm not mistaken, Shinya Kawai was the bully whose name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamrocho pretty recently, too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawai had been murdered, they came here to Ijincho. Hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. Hmm. What the? Hmm. Hey, what the? This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. There's another familiar face. So it all comes circling back to her, huh? Right. This Suzuki girl has a different name now. Saori Shirosaki. I see. That's certainly an angle I hadn't considered. Perhaps we're not on your level. Hey, Tsukumokun's bending over backwards to give you that one, Yagami-san. That what you wanted? Yeah, I know. Let me just try again. Yoko Sawa. Over the course of our investigation, we did learn Sawa-sensei was in their class. 
so if she were in the video, it wouldn't be that surprising. However, we have no evidence that her name was Suzuki back then. <laughs> Sharp as ever, Tsukumo. I see I was off with that. Reiko Kusumoto. You're thinking of Mitsurukun's mother, aren't you? Did you forget we're talking about the girl who's in the video? Yeah, you messed that <laughs> up. But relax. Let's uh, mess that up. Yui Mamiya, the victim in the Ahara harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa Sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. Yep. So we're looking at Yui Mamiya in high school. Mamiya san, huh? What's she like underneath it all? Originally, word got around that Shinya Kawai was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. There were really about ten bullies involved at the time, and Yui Mamiya was one of them. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. They're living out their lives like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Hmm. Hey. This guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh. Uh, I don't think I've seen him. I don't know him either. Who is he? I think I remember him. I saw him at the crime scene where Mikoshiba's body was. He was with more Kurokawa grads. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. Yeah. But the real question is, why was Kawana the one with the video? Uh-huh. Hmm. What the? I feel bad for Mitsuru-kun. No one helped him, even with everything he was 13 going. Thirteen years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working. She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own. Hey, crazy theory, but what if this husband she left was actually Kuwana-san? And maybe he recorded this to secretly check on his son? No, Kuwana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Let's look for other possibilities. Hmm. September 17th, 13 years ago. It's past 4 p.m., so this would be after school. Oh, wait, this is... Got something? I just cross-referenced the date Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped. September 17th. Oh, shit. That can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. The video may have provided some interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. The link being the reason Kawana-san came to possess this, of course. Right. Kawana's either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kawana-san and Sawa-sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then, maybe Sawa-sensei recorded it 13 years ago, and then had Kawana-san look into it. As one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why is that? Because of what Siren's owner said to me. Okay. You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. He said we'll know Kuana's true identity once we watch the video. But that hasn't been the case so far. Yeah. Uh, 
What identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? Assuming Kuan is in his early 40s, he would have been about 30, 13 years ago. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura Shi brought back. The one that was in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. The way you're talking, I assume you've already taken a peek? We have, but unfortunately we didn't find Kawana-san's face among the teachers. This is the page for Mitsuru Kusumoto's class. Both Sawa-sensei and Mami are there too. So the homeroom teacher was... this guy. Apparently he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times. Yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and tell them not to overdo it. It's not Kawana. This is someone else. We checked the rest of the teachers too, but never spotted Kawana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. Sawa-sensei isn't smiling at all in this. Huh. She did mention she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. No surprise there. Mitsuru-kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. Yet another classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Yeah, but I can't find Shinya Kawai in here. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's not in there. If I'm not mistaken, Kawai left the school once he started catching flack for being Mitsuru-kun's bully. At least, that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawai. Suspicious. What the? Suspicious. Suspicious. Is that his teacher knew but all he said was don't overdo it but afterward the public eviscerated him he had to quit his teaching job hold on if he was dismissed you figure something out the homeroom teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack he got forced out of teaching yeah what of it if that's the case couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one I see that definitely sounds likely. Let me search for the original teacher's name. There's a chance he won't be the same guy in the yearbook. 
Just give me a sec. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kitakata? Huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So, Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kawana. That's him, all right. Yeah. Not only that, Sawa-sensei was part of this class, which makes Kawana her homeroom teacher, too. This is the link we've been looking for. Everything has clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yuki Takata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kawana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. <sighs> you think one of them was Kawana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. RK might have learned of Kawana's involvement while searching for Kawai. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. W hold up. Individuals who were his acquaintances? Meaning more people besides Kawana-san, right? Could that mean... You got it. What have we here? If we're talking about people who knew Kawaii, I thought this could give us a clue. These footprints... Aren't they the ones we found in Sawa-sensei's room? Yeah. Left behind by RK members. Then you're suggesting RK's behind Kawaii's abduction? Well, their names only come up pretty recently, right? I don't think they even existed five years ago. <sighs> You've got a point there. Hey, nothing to stress over. I know you'll get this, Yagami-san. Yeah. Check this out. Ah. Uh. The people in this were Kawaii's acquaintances, right? Or Kawana's former students, in other words. Everyone, though? A few too many, don't you think? Hmm. You're probably right. We already know this. Oh. The students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawaii. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. What makes you say that? 
Well, Kiwana had this on a secret flash drive, right? But to anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, it'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yep, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kiwana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kauai. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawhi was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawhi was murdered. No body's been recovered yet, either. Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Yeah, it's a bunch of what-ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawhi's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Ijincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man. What the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sawa-sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawan is most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yui Mamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear, with Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Tsukumo-kun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Tsukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, hey, don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes when you're dying? <laughs> that shit's real talk. I saw it all, huh? Yeah. There I am, bleeding out. And suddenly I'm getting the third degree from Matsugane-san. Back when I was still just a rookie. Captain Hamura stares me down like, time to lose that pinky. And then, Igashi starts crying for me. I'm gonna go. I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? I'm sure it'll be rosier when the time comes for real. Glad you pulled through, man. That bastard Soma, though. Next time, he's fucked. We could have avenged Sawa-sensei if it weren't for that stupid ambush. Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa-sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kuwana, the piece that ties it all together. We just have to find him before RK does. Kuwana, huh? He's on my shit list too, just so you know. Huh? Kuwana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. He palled around with me all because of that. I'm just a sucker of the agency, huh? I wouldn't say that. Still... The moment an ass for me to kick turns up, this is the shape I'm in. Just focus on getting better. Tsukuma will stop by later, too. What? Sugiyura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us from Ijincho and everything.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。
いらっしゃいませ Thank you.
So, we off to see Mamiya? I'm ready whenever you are. Yep, let's go. All right, let's do this. If your theory is accurate, then Mamiya was involved in both Kawai and Mikoshiba's murders. And even if that's off, we can at least learn more about Kawana-san as a teacher. Hi, it's Yagami. I dropped by with Genda Law the other day. Not again. I have just a few more questions I'd like to ask you. You told me the last visit would be your only one. Seriously, why do you keep showing up here uninvited? Please, just leave me alone. I suppose I should mention, I'm here today as a detective, not a lawyer. So what? And my partner here is Sugiura. He's with an agency called Yokohama 99. Never heard of him. He's based in Ijincho. He's working a case. Maybe you saw it on the news? The murder of Serio High teacher Yoko Sawa, killed in her own apartment. You and Sawa-san were classmates in high school, is that correct? After leaving Kurokawa 13 years ago, Sawa-san moved to Ijincho to teach. Uh, are you still there? What is it you want? I haven't seen Yoko-chan since graduation. Now go. You're barking up the wrong tree. Maybe you'll remember Kitakata-sensei then. I ran into him at Sawa-sensei's home right before the murder. He was your homeroom teacher at Kurokawa, but resigned after the Mitsuru Kusamoto incident. Just like you, he appears to be connected to Sawa-san. So why am I being singled out? Can't you just ask someone else? Believe me, it's a long list. But right now, we're here to find out how Sawa-san got mixed up in all this. You two weren't necessarily on bad terms, were you? If I had to say, we weren't on the best terms either. Uh, how convenient. Because that's a perspective I'd like to hear more about as well. My husband will be home soon. Can you keep it quick? I'll give him my best shot. Exactly. Thanks for hearing us out. Hold on just a moment. I wonder what's going on. You don't think she bolted, do you? Mmm, wouldn't count on it. Should we ring again? Sorry to keep you waiting. I just wanted to clean up a little. your son home today? He's at English school right now. I have to pick him up soon. Doesn't your husband help with any of that? You said he'd be home soon, right? Excuse me, but you are in no place to make those kinds of comments. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. Well, what is it you want to ask?
Do you remember Mitsuru Kusumoto? Yes, we were classmates in high school. He jumped off the school's roof after his classmate Shinya Kawai bullied him. I hear he's still in a coma, 13 years later. Weren't you going to ask me about Yoko-chan? I was, but there seemed to be an awful lot of Kurokawa graduates surrounding this case. And strangely enough, they were all in your class. Kitakata sensei being the prime example, as well as a guy named Akaike-san. Remember him? Well, you're right. We were in the same class. And would you say you're all familiar with Mitsuru Kusumoto's situation? Yes, but... That's not a warm memory for any of us. I understand. I'm sure it's not. Have you been in contact with Kitakata-sensei lately? I haven't. He's... someone I'd rather not have in my life. Are you surprised that he stayed in Ijincho after resigning from the school? No, not really. How about the fact that now he's using an alias? I had no clue. But again, he has nothing to do with me. The groping was orchestrated, right? Excuse you? When Akihiro Ihara grabbed you on the train, you were in on that, weren't you? The whole thing was a conspiracy, staged to play out as it did. You need to leave. Right now. Dude, what gives? No one would even think to consider a predator and his victim could be accomplices. It's unheard of. But if it was to establish a murder alibi, that's another story, considering how much lighter the sentence is. That way, Ihara got away with killing Mikoshiba, paying only a fraction of the price. But as luck would have it, proving it is going to require you to cooperate with us now. If you don't get out this second, I am calling the police! I mean it! It took me quite a long time to figure out how you and Ihara were connected. But once I learned Yokosawa attended Kurakawa, it all started falling into place. She was in your homeroom class. She looked after Toshiro Ihara. She was the link to everyone. <sighs> but just before I could ask her about any of this, she was murdered by a Kamurocho gang. That same gang has been hunting your old teacher, Kitakata-sensei. What is it you want from me? Namiya-san, do you have any idea where Kitakata-sensei could be? He may be Kawana the Handyman, but he hasn't answered his work line since Sawasan's murder. I don't know! He was my teacher a decade ago. I barely remember his face. Well, I'm willing to wager Kitakata Sensei still remembers yours. I'll prove it right now. Oh, God. See for yourself. No. This was recorded at Kurokawa Academy 13 years ago. Feeling nostalgic yet? It was well hidden. Your Kitakata sensei had it on a USB drive. He really didn't want this thing being seen. The most interesting part is the date. It's the very same day Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped off the school roof. And hanging out in the back, we see you, laughing and cheering right along with the other bullies. Guess it's safe to say it's a good thing your family wasn't home. Wouldn't exactly want them seeing this, would we? Has this video come up? Has Kitakata-sensei ever mentioned to you that he had it? Delete it. Considering the angle, I get the feeling that this was recorded in secret. And based on your reaction, did you even know it existed? Uh. 
You know what happened to Mitsurukun. He's been in a coma ever since what you did to him that day. But still, only one of you took the fall. Shinya Kawai took all the blame. Well, sort of, being that he got fired, Kitakata Sensei took heat too. Still, you all just moved right along with your lives. You've even got happy little families. What? Are you expecting someone? Amiya-san? Well... I knew what happened someday. What do you mean? Looks like she wanted some company. Turned into a shit show. And would you look at that? Our old friend Akaike san showed up to play a part. So you are all working together. What should we do with them? They're the jerks who hurt Tsukumo kun, right? Break every finger on their hand, it still won't make you even. Come on, they may have more on the way. I have an old haunt in mind we move this to, and Mamiya-san's coming with. Huh? Let's not cause a scene, okay? I'd hate for a finger to slip and post this video. You think this is your personal jail, Yagami? What makes you think you can keep bringing captives here? Well, it's the safest spot we know. Doesn't it feel good to be such a reliable friend? Yeah, Higashi, be cool. We won't be around long. Be cool? You think time's the issue? This is about respect, man. What's your call? We kicking him out? Oh, quick bit of news, Higashi-san. Kaito-san got shanked in Yokohama. What? What the fuck? Kaito Aniki? By who? You'll know once we're done explaining. Let me introduce you to Mamiya-san first. She called up her friends to come after us just a little bit ago. Yeah, and I'd do it again. I don't give a shit about that! What happened to Aniki? You better have paid him back already, Yagami. Fuck those RK assholes! And how could Aniki have let him get to him like that? Now that Higashi-san's up to speed, should we get to it? I imagine Mamiya-san doesn't want to drag this out. What do you intend to do with me? First, you'll tell us everything you know. We'll decide how to deal with you afterward. 